that is coming up. Guys, I'm, I'm, it's all my fault, but I'm having trouble finding my stack of, it was like an AP article and a couple others admitting drone operations, watching the American people. I had that in my stack. I wanted to show that in the next segment. But you guys, I'll try to find it during the break, but if not, just, just, just reprint it for me. The reason, yeah, it's Sacramento Bee, too. Yeah, 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 print me that. But not from InfoWars. Print me the actual Sacramento Bee there, guys. Now, uh, continuing, folks, the reason I went into that rant is they get up there on the news two years ago, and I had to keep bringing up Drudge Report. It's just, it's what happened. Kurt Nemo wrote an article about all these articles about how they were using drones to spy on farmers and arrest poachers and people they thought were rustling cattle in North Dakota and places. So he wrote an article about it, and DrudgeReport.com picked it up. And then they had literally in the Associated Press and a bunch of other newspapers, not just AP Wire, they said, it's not true, there's no drones, no one's watching you. But our article had all these links to local newspapers and the FAA and the FBI and Border Patrol and the Defense Department and Wired Magazine. I mean, we, we weren't even breaking this. It was just an article, a boil-down article. That's why they don't like our articles. Because if Wired or somebody does an article, they just report on one thing. We at Infowars.com, at least most of the time, that's what I try to do, is we try to show you that what's happening now, but then connect it to how we see what's going on. Like, hey, see all this backstory? What do you think of that? There's a bunch of this going on. Connect the dots. And they came out and they said, hey, there are no drones. And this Kurt Nemo story, yeah, it was 2012, about two years ago, does not exist. And, I mean, I had stacks of mainstream news admitting it was going on in government documents. And so that's why I get upset and start yelling and screaming is because these people are a hoax and a fraud. They didn't want opposition farming to it before they PR'd it and rolled it out so that you would accept it. Just like the NSA spying I told you about 16, 17 years ago. Just like the torture camps I told you about five years before it was in the news. Just like everything we told you about beforehand. It's all in congressional hearings, government documents. It's all, I'd hardly break anything. It's already in the record. We just go tell you about it. You know, it's like I remember a couple of years ago, police departments got grants for light bulbs that get data down the power line and spy on everybody and can even create an optic eye effect and watch you. That's how high tech stuff is now. There's like one little chip in the light bulb. They also have data light bulbs and they made national news stories saying I was a liar, but it's back in the news now saying, isn't it great? The light bulbs are going to communicate with everything in your house. This is what's frustrating is it's like the guy in the pizza place 11, 12 years ago. I remember because my wife was first pregnant it was 12 years ago. And the guy walks on the pizza place and shoves me in the back, Conan's Pizza. And I turned around and I went, hey, what's, you got a problem, man? He said, hey, I used to listen to your show. But I went, I, mean, I got a UT degree in biology. They don't have goats that are part spiders. I don't appreciate you lying. Now, when did you get a degree? Well, 1976, University of Texas. I went, man, just search engine spider goats. It's like CBS News, AP, you name it. And, I said, and he started getting to my face. I said, listen, man, get out of my face. And I said some other stuff, but I'm not going to act tough because the guy was kind of bowing up. I guess he had a problem. But, you know, it sounded Buck Rogers. He wanted to confront me. Now everybody knows about spider goats now. Imagine the raw story run by the Democratic Party, who's threatened me repeatedly when we post a blurb of their stories, you name it. Raw story comes out and says I'm Internet only, which I'd be more proud of the fact if I would have started pure internet and dominated the way Matt Drudge did. I started AM and FM on my own off access, but still, I didn't start purely internet and dominate from internet only. In fact, there's really no one out there that's done that news-wise, except from the beginning, there's been some more modern examples, but Drudge was the first. The point is, I am successful uphill in AM and FM radio, and to lie to their audience like that, when they have a long history with us, shows how they prey on you. They're predators. Councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military industrial commonwealth. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea, a new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancakes.
either you were with us or you were with the terrorists. A lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken. No one will be able to be armed. We have to take all guns. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. Is global governance at last. Is it one of the central bankers in charge? But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, give me liberty or give me death! Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. That's right now, seven minutes into the second hour of the Sunday Worldwide Transmission. I want to open the phones up on the subject of Ukraine today for military veterans and active duty. What is your view? I know active duty overwhelmingly were against aiding al-Qaeda openly uh, or even covertly to attack Syria because these were groups that U.S. military had fought and some of these al-Qaeda people in the BBC and others brag that they'd killed Americans and would continue to kill Americans, but thank you for the weapons. Very arrogant scum. And our government didn't really control them. They were just arming them and turning them loose. I'm not saying there aren't radical Muslim extremists. That's a fact. The point is they're just arming them and, like, turning them loose like a group of piranhas or a, or a hornet's nest you've beaten with a baseball bat to go infest some country that's done nothing like Syria and then to kill everybody. And then to use the threat of the hornets flying around to take liberties domestically. I want to hear from military about Ukraine. Where do you stand on this? Because it's a very complex issue. And I don't, again, sit there and romanticize. It's the only word to describe it, what's going on with Putin and the Russians. But they're being pushed by NATO, in my view, and that is a fact. They're being pushed by Soros and the State Department and John Kerry. And there's a destabilization program, and they're trying to do it inside Russia. And I don't think poking a, a, a grizzly bear is a good idea, especially when we have a giant 800-pound maggot, a maggot whale, defecating all over us like George Soros with all of his political detritus. Gun control, you know, destroy the family, uh, push marijuana. I'm for decriminalization, but not marijuana culture bombed out of your brain, drug culture. <clears throat> Just because I don't want to fill the prisons with uh, nonviolent offenders doesn't mean I endorse the monstrosity that is Denver now and this culture of not working and staying so stoned out of your melon that you don't even know how to tie your shoelaces. Again, all of this in moderation, ladies and gentlemen. So I want military personnel's take on that. Police, your take on it. But most importantly, because we got 20 phone lines on Sunday. We run our own system on Sunday, not weekdays, because I still do it through Genesis and it's good backup and they're up in Minnesota and they're good guys. Well, they only have six phone lines. We have... 20 phone lines. We actually have 100. We dial it down to 20. And when we open it up for a few minutes and then we turn it back off, that's the calls that come in. But on national shows, we're getting 10 calls they're excited about. We could take 100 phone calls in five minutes. We would come in more than 100. The, maybe a minute. But the point is, please, folks, don't call if you're not military active duty or recently got out or served in Eastern Europe and, and have a real view on this. I'll try to go to you quickly in the next segment. Or if you've been in politics over in Eastern Europe, you're Ukrainian or Russian, give us your view. I don't care if you disagree with me. I really want to hear what you have to say. I want to figure this out. I don't just go with one view and stick with it. I do my homework. And this is a fluid situation. But also, if you live in Ukraine, you got to call your country code in our 1-800 and use your digital phone or your audio, whatever it is, computer system. The toll-free number to join us here is 877-789-ALEX. That's 877-789-2539-er. Again, that's 877-789-2539. And international, we have an international line, is 512-646-1776. Well, that's a politically incorrect FCC band number, but being sarcastic, uh, well, they do want to put them in newsrooms now, so I guess it isn't a joke. 512-646, careful what you joke about, huh? May become true. Careful what you wish for. I don't wish for it. 512-646-1776. 
You dial your country access code 512-646-1776. Military, active duty, or recently out, or you're there 20 years ago in Ukraine. I want your take on it, 877-789-ALEX. Please, folks, we need this intel and to have this college of discussion. Don't call if it's not on that subject because we don't really screen your calls. I want to discuss how you're really Jeff Bridges and how I'm schizophrenic. No, we're not going to have you on right now. This is time for grown-ups, ladies and gentlemen. I had somebody on the street like two weeks ago. Hey, Jeff, Jeff. I didn't, I didn't, come on, Alex. You know you're really Jeff Bridges. I turned around. The person really thought I was Jeff Bridges. I didn't know that was a whole other internet conspiracy. I'm Bill Hicks and Jeff Bridges. Folks, you didn't know that I'm actually really the guy that does... House of Cards, or what's that show called? House of Cards. I'm really Kevin Spacey, ladies and gentlemen. I look more like Kevin Spacey, who well, I'm a fan of, even though I can't remember his name, than I am of Bill Hicks or uh, Jeff Bridges. So I'm actually, I want to start that conspiracy. That's pretty cool. I'm actually Kevin Spacey. They're going to pick up on that and believe it. See, that's the problem. The mainstream media has lost all credibility. And so now there's a vacuum, and the public doesn't believe anything. They don't even believe me three days before the mainstream news reported it that the Russians started moving into eastern Ukraine, even though it was confirmed and they passed it in the Duma two days ago. That's the government in Russia. They don't even believe Russia exists. One in four Americans doesn't even know the planet orbits the sun. We can go out and get nine out of ten Austinites at UT with degrees going, I'm a chemist. And should we ban hydrogen monoxide for Obama? Or Obama, anything, Obama, Obama. And they, we, we actually have that video where they call to ban dihydrogen monoxide. They call to ban water. Mark Dice has done it out in L.A. Uh, Penn and Teller did it before. They said, for the earth, we're going to ban dihydrogen monoxide and sodium chloride. That's salt. Dihydrogen monoxide is water. So I want to hear from military, Russian, U.S., Ukrainian, NATO. This is your chance. International line, 512 Six four six seventeen seventy six. That is to tyrants. That's profanity on air. Seventeen seventy six. Seventeen seventy six. I have like Tourette syndrome. It's liberty, freedom, private property, family, Second Amendment, self defense. John Wayne. Oh, oh man, <laughs> the profanity that is coming out. Men are men. Women are women. Fast cars. High horsepower. I heard Ferraris coming out with a hybrid vehicle. That is blasphemy. I think that new. Uh, BMW that looks so awesome, but then I heard it's hybrid. I mean, who, I won't even look at it now. It's like a, because it doesn't even work. I mean, these electric cars come from coal power that you guys say is so evil, and then it's an electric car with gasoline. Kind of freaks me out when a car, you go to a red light, it stops idling. That's kind of satanic, folks. That's like, that's like throwing crucifix in, you know what, like in that federally funded artwork or something. I mean, I mean, you want to get into blasphemy, folks? All right, seriously. I'm going to get serious here. We're going to take your phone calls. Uh, and then coming up, record calls hitting the entire United States. The answer is pay Al Gore more money. Because he said we'd be in record heat and total ice caps melted. That's not true, but so what? They control reality. White House connected, George Soros connected groups have come out. Uh, Media Matters and also uh, Raw Story and said we have no AM and FM affiliates. We're internet only. That's why they're talking about us. And, uh, and it doesn't matter if that's not true on record. They control reality. So if they said the Earth's made of cheese, or if George Soros actually fought the Nazis as a young man, did you know that? He wasn't a collaborator on record. He admits on 60 Minutes. He actually killed Hitler. George Soros is a 15-year-old, went into the bunker and killed Hitler. Raw story said so. And, and he also saved Christ. Christ was never killed. He pulled Christ down off the cross. They grew wings, flew to heaven together on fiery chariots. Raw story said so. And Raw story, by the way, you know, um, they actually prove the Easter Bunny's real in Santa Claus. So, I mean, that's what I mean. The, the condescension, the preying on their authoritarian, fake left-wing Ku Klux Klan audience is the real issue. We're going to come back with your phone calls. I think only the government should have firearms. Then they'll treat us nice. It sure worked in Germany and Russia and... Now, China, Obama. If you are receiving this transmission, Obama. you are Obama. the resistance. Obama. Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. No, Obama, shut it down. Fairness doctrine. Put the FCC in the newsroom. Obama. All right, 
get them out of here. We had some fair use time there with the Lovelace supporters on air before we went to the full transmission there. I apologize for them crashing into the broadcast. All right, let's get.